Even though Georgia might be more known for their peanut, poultry, and peach production, only one crop carries the actual name of the region it's grown in, the Vidalia onion. And farmers in this 20-county production region recently wrapped up planting season and are excited to get things started. We start with our seed beds in September, and that really kicks off the fall for us. We're normally finishing up our Vidalia crop from the previous year at that time. So we're excited to get the new season started with everything we learned from the previous year and try to implement it into this crop and just try and produce a better onion. And that's for good reason, as this crop is the driving force behind these communities' economy. In the, in the whole Vidae Onion region, we have about uh, 12,000 acres. We were up uh, uh, higher than that at one point, but uh, one benefit we've seen is, is the varieties have become more stable and uh, we've had some growers that have learned some really good ways of being consistent in producing onions. Consistency and quality don't come easy though as producing these prized onions takes plenty of hard work and attention to detail. We streak it off so that we have our rows laid out and then we rotivate it so that we get that nice bed that you see behind me and then we come in and peg it and throw plants out and then the people come behind and individually put each one of these plants into the ground. The hand planting right now is, is the best way to produce them. Um, just with our climate and the weed control aspects that we have to face. When putting these plants into the ground, timing is everything. That's why having the cooperation of Mother Nature is essential. And so far, so good this planting season. We've had a very uh, dry planting season, which is what we like to have. Um, like a little bit of rain now and then, but we really only had one stoppage due to weather. And that's one of the things we run into in the fall, especially after Thanksgiving, uh, weather gets a little questionable for us because of these fronts and different things that are moving through that will dump some rain on us coming across the country. This is our big crop and trying to get it, and it's very critical to get those days in because if you get behind in the beginning, you're gonna be behind at the end. However, not everything went exactly as planned as Hurricane Irma forced onion producers to make big decisions early in the season. Everybody kind of waited to plant their seed beds for the hurricane to move through. We actually took a chance and went ahead and planted it and got them up out of the dirt before the hurricane hit. So we were able to kind of sit back and almost relax a little bit while everybody else was struggling. And once the onions are all in the ground, the crop still takes plenty of management to ensure a quality product. Low sulfur and, and sandy soils, the same stories rung true for you know, 30, 40 years, is that's what makes a sweet onion. And so our producers have really tried to learn and micromanage the amount of uh, fertilizer they put out. Reporting from Tattnall County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.